and we are here. They have announced that we have docked and we are cleared to disembark. Is that better for you now? There, there, I don't look so crazy with the light on my head. Yeah. <laughs> So we're gonna go grab some breakfast. I think we're gonna try the main dining room for breakfast this morning because we're not in a huge rush to get off. Um, we're gonna go do that and then go enjoy Mykonos. We're at Mykonos, Greece. So okay. let's go breakfast and then get ashore. Let's do it. Hi, we're Jill and Jerry here on the beautiful Enchanted Princess. And this episode contains a hidden letter that is part of our journey to the secret word. Thank you to Level 8 for sponsoring this contest. And use those letters to try to form three words that relate to this cruise. Today's breakfast eating dress in Mykonos is black and white with some kind of black. It's black and white? It's not? What color is it? That's navy. It's navy and white. Oh, black and white. looks black and white navy. to all of us viewers. Navy and cream. <laughs> it's got a little tie at the back, sleeveless. Looks like... Ooh, maybe. Hard to say, 516 sleep. And little beige sandals. Off she goes. She's running again. Your table for two today. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, I see your menu coming. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> How are you this morning? Very good. Already have a puzzle? Oh. So we'll have a tea with coffee. Remember how to eat this thing? Find the beginning. It is right there. <laughs> Start dealing from there. Unravel the puzzle. Breakfast this morning. They always have this kind of right side with a traditional English. And then there's usually some kind of poached or a Benedict. And then kind of more of a traditional, you know, North American breakfast. It changes out though. So yeah, it is changing. Often it has like pancakes or yeah. waffles or stuff like that as a special. And all the regular stuff. No. Okay, stuff has started arriving at our table. Mm hmm. A little bit of fresh oranges to start the morning. How are they? Sour? Sweet? They're good. You want one? Mm -hmm. oh, no, thank you. My breakfast has arrived. It's all very segregated on my plate, I see. I have a hash brown, a couple of sausage, okay. and a veggie omelet. With oh, I went with... Oh. We're still on my breakfast. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought you were done. <laughs> What happened to your breakfast? Oh, okay. I'm in Europe. I didn't order any ketchup or anything that I'm eating with my plate. Oh, shots. <laughs> yes, I went with what they called the farmer's breakfast, which is eggs. There's a little piece of ham in there. There's a sausage and bacon and some potatoes. So Mr. Knuck's making fun of me because I asked for a little bit of ketchup to go on the side of that. But we see signs saying there's a gangway on four. So... We're going to try the gangway on four and see if there is a tender or we're just going to walk straight off the ship. We're hoping we can walk straight off the ship. Wish us luck. Gangway. Still a gangway. I, I love this. Gangway. Yeah, I love this gangway. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> we are here in Greece again. Oh, I forgot to put my running shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are we going back? No, we're going to try. You said it's not very hilly. Good morning. Good morning. We are hunting for the sea bus. Yes, the water taxi is, you come out from the port area and you go right and try to get oh. onto it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's where we are making our way. But I think there's a like long line so, up for the sea so bus. around 4,000 other people. Okay, we found the sea bus, but there is a very long line. That's the problem with it being so easy to find. <laughs> Everybody else found it too. Our ride has arrived. It does not actually say sea bus on it anymore. But I'm sure it's the right one. All right, we have uh, secured a seat on this water taxi. It's a very big boat, so it should hold a lot of people and go. But, um, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure how long. I don't think it's a very long ride. So, no. this gets you from where the port is around the corner, I think, to Mykonos. To the old port. They consider this the new port, and the other one is the old port. Okay. I believe I got that right. Follow us along for the ride. 
Mykonos, first time ever. Yes, exciting. Look at how pretty it all is. All nice and white, a little bit of blue everywhere. Uh, it looks like we have three ships in here with us today. Oh, yeah. We have our ship, MSC. Not sure what the other one is, do you know? No, I haven't seen. It's a smaller MSC, I can't tell. Welcome to Mykonos, I see the sign. There you go. It's walking down a street in Mykonos. what it looks like. Lots of whitewash. Nice even paving stones for me to walk on with my sandals because I forgot my shoes. Look, octopi bar. Ooh, we've heard about the octopus here. I don't know if Mrs. Canucks can eat any today or not. No. Nope. I know I'm not, not. But that doesn't surprise you probably about me. I surprise you that she's not brave enough. We're supposed to always go downhill to go back towards the sea, is what I've heard. I we appear to be going go, uphill. I want to follow them. He seems to be doing some sort of train. <laughs> There's a Scandinavian bar here. Tequila sunrise. Whiskey, vodka. Between the pattern on your dress and the ground, I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> is it? <that? laughs> There's a lot of patterns here. They have dresses here. Yeah, they're not open though. Oh. Yeah, what time is it? 9.51. Oh, so maybe 10 o'clock to start open. Ooh, that's a pretty dress. Mm. I don't need any more dresses. You don't need any more dresses? I've got enough. I got my friend Flintstone dress. Oh, this is a cute t-shirt. <laughs> Okay, we have made it back to the water. Little cafes down here. Little Catholic church we just showed you there. And Rumors are that the windmills are down here that Mykonos is known for. Mrs. Canuck is pointing, they must be close. What is Mrs. Canuck taking a picture of? Let's see, there they are. Look at that. I heard there was five windmills, but I'm pretty sure my accounting says six over there. Right at the harbor here of Mykonos. Oh, it's just beautiful here, isn't it, guys? This is just picture perfect. Look at it out here. This is called Little Venice in behind us. Wow. Quite the view. You can hear the waves coming in right beside us here. I don't know. What would you like to see? It's hard to capture it all because there's so much, but you can so just easy take to a capture picture it. anywhere. <laughs> anywhere you beautiful. shoot, it's just beautiful. <laughs> and around every corner is another little church or a whitewashed building with some blue shutters or a few oh, flowers. Yeah. Here's another little church. They're everywhere. Churches are everywhere. This is the town I was telling you about that they said if you wanted to bring good luck to your family and your and your and your pro prosperity in life, you had to build a church next to your house. So people, that's what they did. They would build, buy a piece of property, build a house, build a church. And sometimes the church was only big enough to hold their, their family. Hey, Katie. Okay, 
Check out the view we found from the top of Mykonos. Took some hiking up a hill to do it. We did. We did. We we're hot, but uh, it was worth it. Look at what you reward it for if you yeah. come up hill. So this is definitely not a touristy thing. As you can see, we are on a concrete slab hanging out over a hill. Yeah, people are parking on it. I'm not sure this is uh, exactly safe. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> but it has a great view, as you see. There you go. Taking risks to give you this. So windmills off in the distance there. All the whitewashed buildings. Look what we found. One of the big windmills here at Mykonos. You can see a little bit of the old port in the background there. Downhill in Mykonos is more fun than uphill. <laughs> Much more scenic going downhill than going uphill. Here's the church, hon. That's what we're at here. Oh, we're at a church? We are. We're heading on down. I just wanna hold you for forever Everything you're making me better Cause a love like this is rare And I wanna take you there I just do a last little bit of shopping before we decide to head back to the ship. It's getting really crazy down here. I don't know if you can see very narrow streets and lots of walking groups and tour groups from the ships. So three ships in. I think they're all getting aboard now. The tenders are running well. So anyways, I'll show you the little blue and white place Mrs. Canuck is looking at across the road here. So you know you're fine. Okay, we have made it out of the alleyways and back to the ocean. Woo! And they say that it is a 100% guarantee that you will get lost while walking around Mykonos. 100% guarantee. We can guarantee. confirm that this is 100% true. <laughs> <laughs> but the advice we were given was just walk downhill, you'll end up back at the water and you'll get your bearings again. So that's what we did over and over again. <laughs> okay. I think we're going back to the sea bus. Whew. It's a hot, sticky one here, especially in the alleys. There's no wind movement. Yeah. A little bit of a breeze here by the water. Yeah, beautiful Mykonos. You saw it with us. Nice spot. Very busy when three ships are in, especially at the little, little Venice dining options. We are back on the ferry. Oh, camera is on. That's good. You know what I'm saying? Okay. We're heading back to Newtown, where we can walk onto our ship. Because the other two ships are tendering today. We're right there. So yeah, we're very That's fortunate. Nice. Thank you, Princess, for being the first one here. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, Mika knows. Yeah, it's cute little streets. If you like walking through a maze, it's a great city for you. Because that's what it is. All windy streets. Everything looks the same. You turn right, you turn left, you go up, you go down. It's all intertwined in tiny little alleys. I felt like a mouse trying to find the cheese. <laughs> Never found it. Good one, yeah. For sure. Hello, Enchanted Princess. Princess Cruises. And if you go the other way, on the other side of the walking pack are the MSC, MSC people. They still need to get on a water shuttle to get back to their ship. 
we're here. We're right away. In we go. Back on the ship. Oh, she's doing the wrist waving thing. Got in. We lucked out. Oh! oh. Video proof. We are off to find liquid first, food second, hopefully a pool and lounger third. Okay, we are starting with a little bit of pizza appetizer before our main lunch. Get a couple pops, sodas for those, for those south of the border. Okay, we have opted for the salty dog chicken fingers and chicken sandwich. That's a new try for us to see what that's like. Give that a try. And look where we are. We are up at the retreat. The retreat pool. Mm -hmm. What are you doing now? Reading. You're reading? Mm -hmm. Laying on a Greek flag? Mm -hmm. Laying on a Greek flag while a Greek <laughs> flag is hanging up in front of us. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, we are done our lunch and it is time for some R&R. &R. Maybe a little pool time. We'll see. It's pretty warm here today actually. Mm -hmm. Might be a day to get in that pool even though it was chilly yesterday. Mm -hmm. Goodbye retreat pool. We are heading back to the cabin. Start our preparations for our evening. Ooh, ooh, crazy. Reading for a couple hours, cruise here, I don't care. <laughs> you always look like you're just ready for the paparazzi shots. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> that's a wrap. That's a wrap? Yeah. Like going to bed? This thing you're wearing, that's a wrap, oh, isn't it? I have a wrap. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you think you're clever. Mm -hmm. mm. I am. Very clever. Yes. After Mykonos today, you didn't see a heck of a lot. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think my eyes might have closed for a few minutes there. Uh-oh. Because <laughs> she was concentrating on the three things that she can't do with her mouth. That's not true. <laughs> do you know there? No. Nope. Let's start right with the air. I can't whistle. You can't whistle. That's all I got. I whistle. That's as good as it gets. And she can't make the popping noise with her mouth. No, popping. <laughs> See? <laughs> popping, no. And she can't roll her R's. No, I definitely uh, I do not have the Spanishness of me. I don't have a clue how you did that. Uh, oh, yeah. No. That, that's not as good as it gets. Okay. That's our afternoon, just figuring that type of stuff out. Mm. Important things as we stare at the countryside mm -hmm. of Greece. Mm -hmm. But we are not done with Greece. We still have one more stop tomorrow in Greece. We do. But before that, we have tonight. We have some main dining room. We're going back there. We are. We are. We're going to go grab a drink now, pre dinner drink, because mm -hmm. it is just after 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. And there is a, another comedian in the theater tonight, I noticed. Oh, so, I didn't even look at the program Yeah, tonight. we'll catch a new theater. I think there is also some music around the ship. So a little more. Last night it kind of dropped off with stuff later in the evening. Tonight it looks like there's a little more going on. Mm -hmm. Good. So we'll give all that a try, and we're going to show it all to you. Good. As we carry on with our adventures across the Mediterranean here on board the Chanted Princess. Hopefully you find the secret letter today. Ooh. Maybe it already showed up. Maybe not at all. I don't know. I can't remember. You keep you're the notebook with all your little letters in it. I have the notebook. Mm -hmm. I have a magic notebook, guys. There you go. <laughs> That's why you write it down so nobody can hack in and find it, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's very foolproof. I just have to open these pages and you'll know what letter of each day and what the word is and where we've hid them. Not gonna show anybody, eh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Not even you. Okay, let's get going and find that drink. Let's do it. We're off. Oh, more lights on. Ooh. More lights off. Just trying to show everybody that wrap, are you? Mm -hmm. I had to stop the camera because strangers were going by. But I couldn't even tell you about the dress before a stranger said it was a nice dress. <laughs> there you go. So the wrap hides some of it. It kind of looks like the Greek flag. It is blue, it is white. I got that figured out. It is about, oh, almost half length, not quite. Straps on the shoulders and white sandals and we're off. Woo! We made the turn and it got warm in this stairwell right by the candy girl. She's heating things up. That's why she's got her swimsuit on. Old school swimsuit, I think. We are in Mykonos. Here we are, the lounge, it's reserved. And we are going in. The drinks have arrived. We got some Canadian whiskey and what's that? Kind of a watermelon drink. <laughs> classic Cosmo. The classic Cosmo. You only the classics for you, eh? Mm. Now I'm having an arancini ball, some guacamole, salsa, 
and chips. These tortilla chips have been weird for us compared to the ones we get in Canada, so we're going to give those ones a try again and see what they're like. At least I will. Mm. Over here, there's a whole mess of... It's just some cheese, apricots, a pretzel bun What's this thing? thing. And that is, it said cherry pie, I think it said. Sweet cherry pie. But I had to give that a try. Okay, that's all of it. You saw it. The lighting complements your dress. More blue and white. Here at Princess Live. Into the dining room we go. Looks like a good menu tonight. Can't wait to show you. Here we go. We have the menu. And we have ooh, some roasted pineapple, some calamari, some mushroom soup. Mm, lots of options. The pastas look good tonight, too. Yeah. Ooh, chili Valenos, Coco Vin. Lots mm. of options, isn't there? Okay, first appetizer has arrived. Well, probably something I've never filmed for you, at least me eating it. And it is roast pineapple. And, and over here. I'm having calamari tonight. Exciting to see that on the menu. Okay, second appetizer has arrived. It is the rigatoni with Italian sausage. Literally just Italian sausage. No S's at the end of that word. And, and I went with the pineapple, but I already ate one piece while Mr. <laughs> Konek was getting his all. Is yours roasted? Seasoned. Yeah. Okay. This is what we just showed up at our table. Oh. I ordered the chili rellenos. What's that look like to you? He finally got it. Not only did he get one order of it, he got a double order of it. Mm -mm. Yeah. There we go. Meat low for me. Oh. <laughs> okay, so here's what we actually ordered. That's the chili rellenos for me. Yes. And I ordered the English roast beef with Yorkshire pudding. Yeah. So Mrs. Canuck's going to have to either eat chili rellenos or one of my meatloafs. No, I'm not eating any of that. <laughs> wow, look at all the food on this table. We're not going to be able to move at the end of the night. We're going to roll out of here, guys. <laughs> okay, one meatloaf down. Another serving of meatloaf to go. Still got the main thing ordered. Okay, I'm going to take a break mid-meal eating because there's a lot of meatloaf to get through here and explain a little bit of the situation. So over two weeks now, I have been giving our waiter, Yudi, a hard time saying, I love the Princess Meatloaf. It hasn't been on the menu yet. And he wasn't sure if it was going to show up. He says it used to show up on the last day of the cruise, but not in the Mediterranean. It hasn't been happening. So I had just about given up on Meatloaf. And then today he shows up with two orders of Meatloaf. So it wasn't on the menu tonight. It was made special for Mr. Canuck. So thanks, Yudi. Thanks to the chef. Thank you to Princess. That's service right there. <laughs> You want to talk about somebody that's spoiled. That is him, Mr. Canuck. He's going to be in a meat coma at the end of the evening, but he'll be happy. Meatloaf sweats. The meatloaf sweats. Oh. Let's look. Plate number one. Gone. Plate number two. Gone. And you even tried your... I tried. <laughs> what was this? What did you order? Chili rellenos. Yeah, so you tried a little bit of that. Around it all. Are you about to pass out on me now? Ooh, there'll be no dessert going in this hole. A lot of meatloaf went in. No. You ready to hit the dance floor now? Bedtime. Yeah, I don't think so. Yep. No, I am not letting him put himself to sleep at 7.30 on a, on, with a meat coma. No, no hot tub either. You're going out. Okay, dessert has arrived. So I'm having what they call Viennese uh, apple strudel tonight with a cream sauce. There you go. Oh. And I'm having this for dessert. Absolutely nothing. So I had too much meatloaf. <laughs> <laughs> Beauty filled him up. We left the atrium, just held our breath through the casino, so we're out of breath. And heading to Princess Theater now for the comedian tonight. That's who we're seeing. Steve Terry. That guy. Please welcome Steve Terry! Thank you so much. Hello everybody, let's sing along if you know the words. Here we go. Love us in the air, everywhere I look around. How is everybody tonight? Everybody good? Wonderful. My name is Steve Terry. Everybody say hello, Steve. Hello, Steve. It's lovely to be with you. Are you all happy, people? Yes. Brilliant. Okay. We made it. We made it. 
We did a mad dash from Ooh. the main theater. We ran. Oh, and ran to the other Ooh. end of the ship. We like knocked people over and just beat it here. We did not knock people <laughs> over, but we did walk quickly because as we were getting the Princess Live, Aren't everybody was getting up button? to come here. So we just came right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, calm mm -hmm. down, guys. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Social pressure. So I think on. this is like the newlywed game. It is. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if we can record this or if people would want us to. Yeah, no, we weren't, we're not going to be that out of privacy for stage. people. But yeah. this is a fun show to watch if you've ever yep. been on a cruise ship and you can see that. But it's it's private passengers getting up there and being a part of the show. So we won't film it out of respect for them. But it is fun to watch if you're ever on a cruise ship. I give my hand to you with all Some mayo? Do we have a towel animal? No, no towel. Oh, we're invited though. Mm -hmm. We are back in our cabin. We are. It's late. It is time for bed. Exactly. Yeah, we had you know, an average dinner. Nothing much happened. <laughs> Except they made me my own meatloaf. <laughs> He's not at all spoiled, guys. <laughs> not at all. No. Second time in my cruising career. The chef has made me my own meatloaf. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Once in the Carnival Pride and now on the Enchanted Princess. Yes. Made it pretty. Oh, what yeah. a spoiled little boy you are. Do you hear that, Holland America? You've never made me a meatloaf. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Just saying. <laughs> oh. So after that, you couldn't top that, right? No matter how good the entertainment was after meatloaf, it was all yeah. downhill. The cruise was, it was just hit the pinnacle for you. I tonight, might as well just right? eat lettuce from this point on. Yeah. Maybe you should. Yep. There so, you go. I, I should for sure, actually. <laughs> That's a lot of meatloaf. <laughs> he ate it all. He mm. ate all four pieces of that meatloaf. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, after that, we went and watched a comedian. We you did. You couldn't watch him. He was a British fella. British humor. I thought parts of it were hilarious. He sang really well. He was well. quite funny. Oh, yeah. and he had an amazing voice. All I kept thinking, he sang two songs throughout his performance. But, like, Amazing! Like, why is he not a, a full-time singer performer? Myself, I thought that was what I was thinking. But and then that was at the forward part of the ship at the Princess Theater. Mm -hmm. We snuck out just a minute or two before the show was over. We ran, literally ran, because as we were going by Princess Live, we heard the announcement saying, "Thank you, everybody. Have a good evening." And we knew there was like 500 people going to come out of that a venue. 500, anyways. Mrs. Connect literally starts running. Well, I didn't <laughs> run. But speed I might walked. have done some speed walking as I heard that announcement coming because I thought I have to get ahead of that. Everybody exiting that room, otherwise we had no chance of getting a seat. So I quickly, on a good thing I had my wedged heels on and not my high heels. And uh, we made it and got a seat. Watch that show. We didn't record any of that either. You couldn't watch people's personal information about their undergarments and where they do stuff. Mm -hmm. So it was a but good... I will tell you guys, the very first question that they asked the gentleman, they stood the gentleman up at the front of the stage. Their wives were behind them with headphones on. They stood the three gentlemen up on stage and the cruise director, Jason, said, what is your wife wearing tonight? And Mr. Canuck looked at me and he went, oh, I would have got that wrong. <laughs> I see it sounds odd. I know I describe the dresses all night, but the, after, the second after I do the dress announcement, I forget everything. So I would have probably had that one wrong. So then after that, we went out of there, we caught David and caught some music there just in the Crown Grill bar. Mm -hmm. And met up with one of our friends from Canada. Yeah. Had a quick little drink there, and now we're back saying goodnight to you. We are. So we have one more stop in Greece tomorrow. We do. And it'll probably be our last warm weather stop, as I think we're sailing back into colder weather, and then colder weather still going back to Canada. So mm -hmm. we're going to try to enjoy our warm last day in Greece. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get some sleep, wake up in the morning, and we're going to do it all over again in Greece. Nice. We are in, how do you know the name of the town? Ooh, yeah. Mm -hmm. The big attraction is people go to Olympia. Um, but how do you pronounce the name of the town? We're, yeah. Catacolon? Catacona. Coney? Catacolon. Okay. You know how good See, we are at names. We, here we go. We'll practice. We'll, another name. we'll try to have it better for tomorrow when we actually get there. Yes. So, good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks. We'll good see night. you in the morning. <laughs>